So now that I've calmed down a little bit from the last few recordings of me trying to basically put this video out, I'm finally ready to talk a little bit about Tokyo Ghoul Re Call to Exist. Now, I'm a Tokyo Ghoul fan, I'm gonna start with that. I've thoroughly enjoyed the anime and it's pretty much in my top 5 at this point in life. So when a Tokyo Ghoul game was coming out and I first saw it, I was a little afraid to be completely honest with you because I've had this I've had this trend before where I get this anime game and there's a few problems here and there and it just never gets fixed and the game just dies because the problems don't get fixed or the game doesn't keep getting, you know, new content or something happens and the game basically doesn't get taken care of. It's happened with Naruto and to be honest with you that was a very rough time for me because once that happened for some reason I was just stuck in this hole of just not knowing what to do and it was just weird. Like imagine spending a year or two playing Naruto, finally deciding you want to be a YouTuber, trying to record Naruto and then as soon as that happens that's when shit start hitting the fan. And then imagine another game coming out and then like that just, just, just falling apart somewhat. Like. I'm pretty sure people still play, but I don't really know if anyone's even really still talking about the game. And if people are, please let me know, because I'd like to hear this game still being talked about. Anyway, I'm afraid that Tokyo Ghoul is basically going to get the storm treatment, and I really don't want Tokyo Ghoul to get the storm treatment. I didn't even want Naruto to get the storm treatment. What I found out was basically Tokyo Ghoul is, am I speaking correctly? Tokyo Ghoul. Is coming out November 15th. That doesn't sound like an issue, but there's a bunch of games coming out in the month of November. To me, that is technically like a hot month, especially since Death Stranding comes out in November, Star Wars comes out in November, Pokemon Sword and Shield comes out in November, the new Need for Speed game comes out in November, which I need to research because I, I kind of like Need for Speed. But anyway, I can't tell if this is a project that like is having heart and soul poured into it or if it's just like a quick ploy to try to get some money and it's like I don't want to believe that it's a quick ploy I want to believe that people are making this game to make this game you know like I get it developers gotta get paid artists all these people gotta eat but still bro like if it's gonna be like that Let's at least make a game that's worth it. 